Pisces, this is your reading from the 17th to the 23rd of October. I'm already getting into the energy of Halloween. That's why I'm using Edgar Allan Poe deck and by uh, Rose Wright and I'm using the Poe Tarot from Tricia Lee uh, Sheffield. You can watch uh, or see all the cards in the um, review list and Trish is um, of also an author and a reader. She's got a YouTube channel and um, the um, uh, Angel Tarot, uh, Teacup Tarot is from Anne Ellis and she's also got a YouTube channel. I'll leave their links in the description box. Do have a look at them. Um, I know Anne Ellis uh, personally. I've got three of her decks. She's got the um, oh, I've got uh, time time to read or something uh, tarot, but um, I have a look. Time to shine tarot and also the angel messengers. Um, uh, I opened the door to my cupboard uh, tarot cupboard and it shot through in my head but this is the latest and it's rather nice so um those are the all over energy and the others are clarifiers of the top cards answer of the angels and the love oracle the love oracle you can use as a love uh, reading or for the general see what resonates with you as this is a general reading thank you for your support my sweeties and i hope you're well and I hope you have not been feeling bad with the uh, Mercury retrograde and the uh, moon uh, energy. As we've just had the full moon on the 9th. You come in with the Ace of Pencils and the Pencils is the Swords. So um, this means... like i said the ace of pencils the ace of swords so you could be dealing with um, authorities municipalities institutions or a gemini libra or aquarius you could be gaining new knowledge but definitely this is the card for the ultimate victory so if you are in a judicial situation then you will win if you are going for an exam you will pass your exam things like that the sun is definitely shining on you, Pisces. Like I always say to you, you are awesome. You're very spiritual um, and your readings are spiritual. I don't know whether it's going to be like this now, but uh, definitely the sun is shining on you. If you look at it in a spiritual way, um, then the angels and the divine are seeing you. They are listening to you. They are working behind the scenes for you so that you can get your victory. You're definitely in the spotlight. Where there is a spotlight, uh, there is also illumination. So a spotlight means that you're noticed. The sun is shining on you. Your luck is here. The time is fertile to get pregnant. Um, if you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions if you're too old. You could be hearing of a birth. This can be of a project. This can also be of a child or a creature. You could be dealing with um, Leo. Also, you could be meeting a Leo. Also, um, uh, you could be going on holiday, moving home. So if you're selling a house, yes, you will have the victory. You will be selling the house and signing official papers. Also, you could be going on holiday to a warm country um, and you could be doing more research on the web as the illumination suggests you need more information. But you could also be seeking advice from a professional. Let's have a look what we've got for you. So definitely good energy is around you as always. Judgment means a new beginning a second chance so if you are in a judicial situation um, you will have victory but this could be an ex-partner in career or romance could be coming back or you will have a second chance at your exam 
and you will pass it. You will have victory. Wow. Also, make sure that you do learn if you are going for an exam because, you know, you're not going to get the victory if you haven't done the work. You have to do the research. Judgment means also and um, like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Look at the people rising towards the sunshine. The three of pools, it's also the three of pentacles, uh, recognition, confirmation on the sun. Also, you, um, you could be joining a group, you could be guiding a group, but you can work really well um, in a group. This could mean a promotion, like again, confirmation on the sun or the sun on the three of pentacles. Um, and pause, um, promotions or a wage rise. Again, you've got victory because you've got the chariot. The chariot also represents cancer. Um, onwards and upwards going on to the next level in romance or career. Confirmation on other cards. Also, you could be traveling, going on holiday traveling for work or moving home. You've got victory, you've got recognition, you're the champion. You've gone for what you want and you've succeeded. Seven is good luck. We've also got temperance. Temperance represents Sagittarius and um, um, uh, such, uh, tem temperance also means balance between the heart, the mind, the soul. In your case, foremost, I think, or your heart, your mind and your body. Trying to get back into balance, to get the Zen feeling again, especially after the new moon and the full moon energy, coming down to earth and taking Zen rest. Okay, you there could be life-changing things because... 14 becomes a 5, decisions, life-changing, uh, you're in uh, something in, in a situation or with a, a, a question at hand, you're halfway there gaining the knowledge. You also have the 4 of pentacles, you might be isolating yourself, meditating, um, contemplating and evaluating. The 4 of pentacles also means um, you could be spending money like water, so tighten up those purse string, strings or close the tap. Also, um, if you're not spending money like water, then you spend some money on yourself, especially if you're going to a presentation or to court or going for a job interview, sell yourself. You know how to sell yourself. You look good. You can act good. You are classy. Use that intuition and use the subconscious, your ideas, and put them out into the material work on how to make yourself feel good and look good because you're going to get it. You're going to get that job whether you like it or not. You don't have to do much. You only have to smarten yourself up, get into the right mind frame, and boom, yes, boom, you've got the job. Victory, victory, recognition, boom, boom, boom. Yes, absolutely, victory there, recognition here. Well, if you've got victory, you've got recognition as well. People might be de demanding your attention. Your magnetic energy is drawing people to. I can understand that you want to shut down sometimes and, re and take a step back and regroup and come back out even bigger and better. You also have the nine of wells, the nine of cups. Wishes coming true, an end of difficult difficulty, it's definitely endings to dif emotional difficulties as the cups stand for passion, emotion, intuition, emp empathy, nurturing. That is all your energy and it can be draining. I know like no other that what spirituality or emotions, pain can drain you big time. Lunch, it's got uh, two o'clock. Lunchtime is over, so come into action. Four means stability and productivity. It's time to get productive. You've also got the six of pentacles. If somebody has borrowed money from you, then you could be getting it back. 
with the Six of Pentacles, you could be receiving gifts. Uh, if you're less fortunate, if you're more fortunate, you could be giving gifts. You could be giving a listening ear, a helping hand, or the roles can be exchanged. Perhaps now you need somebody's help or a listening ear. The Six of Pools is again the Six of Pentacles twice. So it could be monetary, it could be material, but it could also be emotional to get your balance, to get your zin, zen, sorry, the balance card being here. Beautiful, beautiful reading. So take heed, remember to take a, re take a step back, regroup and re-energize and also load up those batteries so you can help yourself first somebody's saying here and look after yourself be nurturing you learn from the past don't always be giving let some of other people give it to you abundance is on the cards definitely with the nine of cups with the two victory cards with the sun shining on you we've got the sword and the rose from the love oracle clarity yes ace of swords be clear uh, clarity truth they stand for truth they want to know the truth Re uh, re revelation something you might hear something through the grapevine so that you can rise from the ashes and be successful be the sunshine be the champion also solidarity together you stand strong and um, be um, solidarity um, in a relationship is of even um, uh, importance to maintain the balance watch out by being too forceful okay honor your own honor your eye come out of your um, comfort zone and be seen because you're awesome you know how to protect yourself protection and power use your power wisely wow this is really a beautiful reading short but strong and i hope it resonates with you so please do share like and subscribe and if you would like to have a free card or two then do join me and the other cyber angels in the life. Thank you very much. Know that I love you and uh, I understand your feelings. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful week. And please do visit Anne Ellis, Brenda Tarot card readings and Trish. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.